Hi, this is KFC Creations. I know I'm hardly ever on camera, but I just wanted to come and say hi. I'm going to start and do this um, vanity DIY for you. It's a long video. I have done parts and like pictures so you can see and uh, pieces that you need and things like that. So let's get started. Um, I hope you like it. My daughter loves it. All right. Thanks. Happy New Year, everybody. Okay, before we get started, let me show you the before picture. This is what she uses um, to get ready in the morning. It's an old roll top desk. Uh, I should be ashamed for allowing this, but it's an old roll top desk and she has like everything on here. So we got to make it some organization and make it user friendly. Look at this light. It's horrible. Um, and I actually got this at a thrift store thinking of, of swapping that out for something a little bit better um, but we'll see um, but here we are and uh, so let's revitalize this area so she'll have a nice place to uh, feel confident about who she is that's what it's all about her having a place that she can come every day and feel confident about who she is and how she looks and embrace herself and so that the world doesn't beat her down before she gets out there so that's why i really want to make this vanity something very nice for her so that she can um, actually embrace who she is as she go through these monumental changes as a teenager so let's get started with the real work thanks Okay, you guys, I cut and um, primed the tabletop that I'm going to use for this um, vanity. I also put um, some nice molding around the sides, and that's where I did uh, the bad side of the putting the corners together. But um, I left it, I just primed it because, as I told you, my daughter, she is an artist, so. She's probably going to paint this herself, the colors that she wants, but I just want to get it ready for her to paint it or do whatever she wants with it. So that's the board as it came out after it was cut, and I'm going to mount that on the board. Now, what do you... Okay, here are the materials you're going to need to mount your desktop onto the wall, or that I'm going to use to mount my desktop onto the wall. I have... The two large brackets that's going to be the end cap pieces and then I got a smaller bracket for the middle of it. You really don't really need all three but for the extra security I'm going to put three on there. Um, and when you go to Lowe's to pick up your board just ask the consultant what size bracket that you need. I'm not going to tell you what size. Um, I'll actually put this all in the information box for what I did. But if you're going to make one that's custom, you may, may use a different type of wood or whatever. Um, so the brackets may differ. But you are going to need brackets. You're going to need a hammer. Uh, some a measuring tape. There. And some screws. Some wood screws. As well as some, if you're going to put into drywall, you may need drywall anchors and a screwdriver. I'm going to try to put most of the brackets here in studs. And uh, you can use a stud binder or you can just simply tap on the wall. And you, you see that, see that dead sound? That's how you find your, um, your studs. It's a kind of a <laughs> archaic way of doing it. I do have a stud finder and I'm going to use that to find my studs. Um, but, uh, I'm going to put those brackets up and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I've got the brackets up on the wall. After getting them up on the wall and seeing the spacing, I decided not to put that third bracket up. It was just overkill. So I'll save that for something else. And also another thing <laughs> that might be very, very helpful for this project is your handy dandy drill. <laughs> I didn't mention that. You're going to need a drill and a leveler. A leveler helps you to keep everything straight um, when you're marking. I marked on uh, my 
a wall up 29 inches from the bottom of the floor. That gives, a, that gives her enough room so that she can have some headroom and not have to look down or up. It was just a great um, measurement for uh, what I was doing. So the leveler will be good. So I got these up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to position the board on top and screw the board into the bracket with these three holes. So I'll be back when I got those up. Okay, now that you have your um, tabletop all set up here, come, it's, make sure that it is sturdy, which this one is. And now the fun part, start hanging stuff. What we're going to do is we're actually going to hang up... Um, a vanity bar light, a mirror, and the uh, nail polish rack that um, I've made. <laughs> Sorry for that lapse in brain power, but I'm going to hang that up and I'll show you how that looks. Also, I'm going to show you how to hang these vanities, but let me hang the mirror first. I'll be right back. Okay, this is the vanity light. And what you're going to need to do with this light is there's a little screw right on the bottom. You're going to have to unscrew that to get the back plate off. Once the back plate is off, you position it on the board and you want to mark where these nail holes are. So you can screw the back and mount it to the wall. Now once you have unscrewed the bottom and you got your screw out, what you need to do is you got to take these off, these little holders. Place them aside. Be careful not to lose your screw. They just pop right off, like so. And the back will just pop right out. Okay, now that you got this off, what you want to do is you want to place this where you want the light to go. This would be a great time to have your leveler. So that you can make sure that your light fixture is straight and then you want to mark these holes with a pencil um, I've already done mine so they're here and here and then what you want to do is take the take your drill and make a starter hole and uh, get ready to mount your light okay now that you have your case your lights back up and the casings back on and now you're wondering well how am I going to get it to work what am I going to do with these things so I'm going to show you how to hook this up so you can plug it into the wall what's going to happen is you're going to have three wires coming out I have a carpal one which is the ground or you use for a switch and you're going to have a white one and a black one this is what you're going to need to make this work let me show you all my materials here. What you're going to need is, you don't need the hammer anymore, you're going to need scissors, uh, an extension cord, some electrical tape, something to strip the wire. If you have a wire stripper, that would be perfect. I can't find ours. And I like to have a toggle switch to turn the light on and off. So let me show you what you're going to do. The first thing you're going to do, let me see if you can still see me. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your electrical cord and you're going to cut this piece off. And you can just throw this away. You won't need that anymore. Then you just split the two wires. You can use your scissor to cut down the center. And you split it. So you have some. And then what you're going to do is you're going to strip some of that so you can see the metal underneath. Be careful not to cut all the way through. But if you do, you still have more length there. And then if it won't pull off, just use your pliers. Here's why I brought them up. And then just... I didn't cut it deep enough over here. And then just pull that plastic off. You have some exposed wire. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Be 
being careful not to cut through the whole thing. Especially since you got one side done, you don't have to start over. Um, okay, we got that nicely. Use your pliers. Pull that off. I can never do it right the first time. I just have to go. No, I did. Then just pull that off. So what you have, what you should have, I hope that was in camera the whole time. What you should have is two exposed pieces like that. So what you want to do, make sure nothing is on, which it isn't because nothing's attached. You want to attach one side of the wire to the white piece over here. Hope you can see that. You bring that up. Yeah, okay. You're going to attach one of these to the white piece like this. Just intertwine it. Like that. You're going to use your electrical tape. use a little length of tape so I doubly cover it. Make sure it's adequately covered. But we have a little too much. Better safe than sorry. So you got one side connected. And you're going to take this other side and connect it to the black. Twist those up. Some more electrical tape. I'm hoping I'm filming, filming this correct so you can see it. And tape that up for yourself. For safety. just tuck it right up there that other piece because you really don't need it so now you have a switch and it will now you have a switch I picked it up so I can see it now you have a switch that can fit into the wall so you take this off you don't need all that so what I like to do is I like to use a toggle because if, in order to turn on the light every time, she would have to plug it in every time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the actual light fixture into the toggle. And then I'm going to Velcro this right on the wall. So whenever she wants to turn it on, all she has to do is press it and this will come on. I will show you how that looks like in one second. Okay, here you have it. A brand new vanity for my daughter. What I did was I put up her um, nail polish rack and she has her nail polishes there. I decided to keep this mirror because it's so cute. I just really like it. Um, she has ample space. She can even do her homework in here now. So that's really cool. And she has her mirror and her vanity. So let me show you how this thing works when I turn the light on. So I velcroed the little toggle switch here. So all she has to do is sit and turn it on. And then the whole space lights up. And there she had, there you have it. A DIY vanity. And uh, this little doohickey lights up too for when she wants to do her close-up magnified work. She doesn't wear makeup more that much makeup. 
just pretty much just eyeliner <laughs> but she's been asking me to go further into makeup wear but I don't know about that we'll see as time goes on but hey I hope you like it she loves it and um, that's all that matters so uh, Happy New Year, everybody, and I will see you in 2012. Bye.